the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, Ali. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, Ali. Hi. Nathan's got a story for you. Yeah. I don't know if you were across this because, you know, you are the girl at the front of all the news. It's true. So true. But um, there was a commercial flight headed for Taiwan which left passengers distraught after two smuggled animals escaped from a person's hand luggage. Oh, my gosh, everyone. Footage emerged from this horror Viet jet flight from Thailand showing the flight attendants in panic as they searched the plane for a giant albino rat <laughs> before and they discovered a baby otter under someone's oh, chair. A baby, a baby otter. otter. A baby otter. Yes. Uh, the... Clear. Um, the scanning um yeah, yeah, I know. At the airport, I know, not like an airport at the moment. So Everyone's got a Every hot, time hot I've spot. tried to go through with a baby otter, yes. I get yeah, yeah. They get You're like, yeah. you're like no, goes. that's a baby otter. Have another yeah. well, feel. Is <laughs> that, that a baby through. otter in your pants? They let me through with my Crocs, so um, I was oh, allowed to oh. smuggle some Crocs in. Oh, oh, oh great gag. That's some news oh. humour. <laughs> Uh, they were allegedly smuggled in in the woman's hand luggage. <laughs> um, so people are like, you know, oh my god, this is crazy. This is the thing, right? This is the thing. Oh, oh there's the baby otter. The flight crew reportedly had to make an announcement demanding the person responsible for bringing the creatures on board make themselves known because they weren't coming through. Mm. The passenger filming the video said many seats were searched before a passenger put their hand up and asked for a refund. What, so Before, they're, my, they're my animals, but yeah, I want a yeah, refund. Yeah, they're my animals, yes, but I want a refund for this flight because I'm not happy about how it's going. <laughs> okay. Because, so, because, on her, arrival, because her wild animals were roaming yes. the cabin. On arrival, seven different species were also discovered, including a box of 28 live turtles. I'm guessing that was in a Krispy Kreme box. <laughs> 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 so she was smuggling. Smuggle, she was smuggling they weren't animals. Pets. They weren't, they weren't, they she was smuggling Let's animals go back to this. for the black market. She asked for a refund. Mm. So what? she was upset because she was upset with the... Because they with, got out. She needed her money back because out of her hand luggage, her smuggled animals got out. <laughs> and I actually built one of the stuff on the hand. Ellie, refunds. Talk to oh. us about... <laughs> Talk to us about refunds because usually in a retail setting, <laughs> yes, you've got to sort of bend over and take it when someone wants a refund. Well, yeah, they, un- unless there are certain situations, they have yeah. certain like a, a consumer has rights to they a do. refund under, mm-hmm. under certain circumstances. <laughs> Ali, Ali. refunds. Let's talk about refunds. Mm, what happened well to you then. at the shops the other day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what happened to me at the shops? I um, was shopping for a birthday uh, for my best friend, and she requested a white t-shirt. So I went to a shop and I bought. Uniqlo. Beautiful... <laughs> Nathan! I was in there the other day. It's got great stuff. Go. Oh, anyway, I bought a white shirt and it was crisp and beautiful and in from pristine Uniqlo. condition. From... Okay, yeah, it was. And then I went to another s- store where I bought um, a liquid, um, like a spray, like a nice spray for your Mecca. face. Mecca? <laughs> Mecca. That'd be Mecca. Oh, my God. I'm never going to go back there again. Um, and then, yeah, so the spray was like a pink spray for your face and like it's like a dewy setting spray. Yeah, great. Face spray. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I'm... On the freeway, driving home with my goodies in the bag, and I look over and I see that oh my god, the bag's wet. I wonder why that is. And I looked, and the lid was unscrewed off the spray and from had, Mecca, <laughs> and it leaked all over the white it might t-shirt. Have been from yeah, it leaked all over the white t-shirt from Uniqlo. Right. <laughs> so, it so what? So it, I what? What did you do? Was enraged and did a U-turn. Yeah. <laughs> drove back and. Um, Oh, I, there were people that make it all wonderful, and they get, they swapped it out for me, and then I took the shirt to Uniqlo and said, "Can you swap this for me?" Um, I did it, and they said, "No, you have to buy a new one because we didn't do it." Yeah, well, no. <laughs> Why did you yes. go there? That's the way life works. Why Uniqlo's problem? Ellie. It's no, I admit, was it in I, pristine condition when you left Uniqlo? Yes, it was perfect. Why did you think they would swap it for I you? I thought that maybe they'd do a good deed. <laughs> no! You can't get a refund for <laughs> third know. hand damage. I mean, <laughs> well, you get you get a thumbs um, up for optimism. Kathy to the that. front counter. We've got a good deed. <laughs> We're going to get a good deed passed. I think, I think you'll find Debbie does the good deed. Debbie does the good deed. No, yeah. You know what? I I bought another t shirt anyway, like and took the took the stained one home and washed it. And now it's got a hole in it, so I'll be taking that back. <laughs> now, oh, yes, now yes. We're, are we right to, are we here around the traps that you were somewhat enraged that they, they wouldn't swap the shirt? No, okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 it definitely looks I going admit, on in this I video, admit huh? it was my fault, and I can understand why they didn't offer me an exchange or a refund. I was just hoping 
um, me being, you know, uh, a, a woman of the people, um, you know, a lowly, a lowly person. The front on you to go back there and I, say, I can you chase that? this T-shirt that you had nothing to do with the damage to it? I understand going That's, back to the place where you bought the perfume from and then going, yes. oh, this perfume got onto my new yes. shirt and blah, blah, blah. You deal with the situation. But that was not poor. Mr. and Mrs. Uniqlo Uniclo, did not yeah. open this business <laughs> to put up with this, this tomfoolery. This mum and pop business. <laughs> oh, I just was, I just tried my luck. You can't blame me for trying my luck. I was at Coles one day and I saw this in the car park and I was amazed. This guy had walked out there and I didn't see this happen but I saw the aftermath of him at the um, at the counter Righto. Um, uh, speaking to the people. He had dropped, um, I think he bought three dozen eggs and he had dropped them in the car park and they all smashed <laughs> and he brought back the bag that was just full of just <laughs> this egg. And, shell. Um, and, yeah, egg and, shell, and then said, excuse me, and I dropped these outside, like, can I have new ones? <laughs> No, that's ridiculous. And, I had to, no, and, I, and without me loitering, the and, I, I, and the worst thing is I couldn't stay there any longer without looking awkward, so I had to leave before I saw the conclusion. But I was like, no! You can't ask the eggs if you there. drop them that? yourself. That's not Mr and Mrs Cole's problem. <laughs> <laughs> the Cole's family. Look, we want to talk about it. Yes. And, and this is the topic. Are you serious you're not getting a refund? Yeah, or swapping it. Are you serious? And if you worked in these businesses where people have come at oh, you, left, and right and centre, or oh. sometimes they might feel like doing a good deed. Or Guys, we're getting a call from Brenda Uniqlo. <laughs> She's got a story about this girl the other weekend. It wasn't she came the I was shirt. not rude. Mm. I think the act of you going in there and expecting yes, to do it was is rude. Quite Even rude, asking was rude. To be honest. Was rude? Yes. Yes. I was just asking. No, yeah. I don't think well, it's rude. if that's what? the case, why didn't you just go into a random store and say, my T-shirt's broken, <laughs> can I have another one? Yeah. Because it's the oh, same. Yeah. So we'd like to speak to people that work in retail, like when someone's come back and you go, Nate, you, you're not, the you're, you're the not world. serious. All the people that have tried their luck with Ellie. <laughs> like Ellie, we're going to give somebody a Scarborough Live voucher valued at $600 Settled to what? spend at participating businesses such as Scarborough Sports and Community Club. Nice. Jeez, Not no. bad. All right. $600. 13 2410 um, The height of people asking for a refund when they definitely don't mm. deserve yeah. one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> no, is the answer. <laughs> no. 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 Caleb's in Beldivis. Hello. Hello. Hi, Morning, Caleb. 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 Now, are you uh, on the receiving end of this request for a refund or were you the one asking for it? Yeah, no, I was on the receiving end of the refund request. Okay, All hit right. us up. What happened? Yeah, so it was a few years back at uh, Christmas time. I was managing a butcher shop um, and we had a customer's order. We'd accidentally sold one of their roasts out of their order. <laughs> when they came in, we explained it to them, said, sorry, here, we're going to replace it with a different roast and we're going to give you the whole order for free. Oh, um, oh. And it was, it was nearly, it was nearly three hundred dollars. Yeah. So it was a huge order. Oh, Caleb, um, that is awesome. Yeah, so we we thought we did the right thing, Christmas, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then when we reopened after the holiday, yeah. the customer came back in with that frozen roast, yeah. um, asking for a refund of the roast because it's not the one that they ordered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know we had this conversation. Now, frozen, yep. <laughs> Caleb, and you yep. gave it to him for free. Yes. Yeah, gave the $300 order for free. They bought the roast back. They'd froze, frozen it, come back in asking for a refund, you know, essentially free Christmas yep. meat yep. and, you know, another $50 on top of that. <laughs> that is so, that yeah. I'm going to give that a go. That's bloody great. All right, so, <laughs> did you, so, so straight away as a manager, you just went, n- no. Yeah, well, a staff member pulled me over and I immediately I recognised the person because yeah. they, were, they were quite upset when we, you know, told them about the mistake. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, they they became quite, um, yeah, quite irate. Oh. Left, stormed out, and then came back with a family member demanding like refunds. Three hundred dollars worth of free meat. Oh, free meat. They, 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 they went off and then came back order. with a family member. They went and got help. Yes. Help. You're going to stand next to me while I go. Oh, 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 sorry, Caleb. On this meat, what's what was the difference in the roast? Yes. For example, was it a pork versus what, lamb? Yeah, what or? had they ordered, and what did you give them? They they wanted a full turkey um, roast, so yep. you know the whole whole yep. turkey, and we'd accidentally sold our last one that it was supposed to be for their order, mm. yep. and we gave them a full boneless turkey roast. So it's still turkey, but just didn't have the bones in it. Oh my god, yeah. I'd rather like <laughs> the bones god, in it. Better. Cook. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Oh my god, when they came back in, I would have just had them just some turkey bones. <laughs> Ran them back in it. <laughs> wow, the hide. Thanks, god, Caleb. People. Let's go to Owen in Warwick. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Hey, Owen. Uh, have you had to put up with this as well, Owen? What happened? Oh, uh, I'm on the receiving end. So mm. I used to work in a bar in, oh, I won't really say where, but um, <laughs> so what happened? So it was happy hour. So it was like, you know, happy hour drinks you get, or half or 
two for ones. Yeah, two for ones kind of thing. So yeah. the husband and wife come in. Um, she wasn't having the happy hour wines though. She was having the more expensive brands. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it was absolutely flat at this point. He was ordering beers, you know, because cheap beers is fine. Um, about halfway through the night, I honestly, I can't keep track on like probably 50 to 100 people that were having these drinks. Yeah. yeah. And then she's been ordering drinks the whole time and he comes in and goes, oh yeah, can I just get a whatever the house wine and a beer? About 10 minutes later, she comes back with a half, like she's already drank half the wine. She goes, nah, this ain't, this isn't what I ordered. I was like, uh, what did you order? What is it? And she goes, oh, it's the, the blah, blah, blah wine, the more expensive wine. Yeah. But this is the house wine. I was like, I don't want this. I was like, well, you've already drunk half of it. I can't just, <laughs> you know, swap it I can't just swap it over for you for free. She goes, no, this is absolute swear words, swear words. Yeah, yeah. rubbish. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, look, I'm happy to give you another one. You just have to pay for it because it's, you know, you know, it, it wasn't it yeah. wasn't my mistake because your husband ordered the wrong drink. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. can't do that for you. She's like, nah. And she le- actually left a bad review on the restaurant oh. saying the service was horrible. And I was like, was like, the line was like three, four people deep around yeah. the whole bar. Like, so, I'm sorry, like, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Oh, can I say? So, so yeah, you're yeah, working yeah. at a restaurant bar, yeah. huh? Right, so keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she caused an absolute, an absolute scene. So she's, at this point, she's yelling at me. Her husband said, just leave it, it's fine. Um, I was like, I'll, I mean, it's just a glass of wine. I don't really care yeah. to be fair with you. But at the same time, I'm like, principle. No, I gotta, yeah, it's the principle of the thing. And the way she was speaking to me, and she yeah. goes, because well, I called her love at one point. I was like, oh, sorry, love didn't do that there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, that's just outraged. Her as well, yeah. She's, yeah, she's got very upset. But like, yeah, you call it me sounds love. Like, call me love. It sounds like the white wine had kicked in at that point. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. And, yeah. and, and, you're right. It's just she wouldn't like, have been so abusive if you didn't switch her over to the cheap stuff. <laughs> Why didn't she attack her husband? He was the one who got it wrong. <laughs> he stuffed it up. But also, you know what? Everyone should check yourselves. And also, with the people that you're with, if someone's going to jump on and give a business a bad review. I know. Over something that, you know. Yeah. That's, that's your husband's mistake. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I don't know. Uh, I've probably heard sure. a business that way. Cats in Dianella. Hello. Hi guys. Hi Hi Kat. Kat. What have you got for us? Um, I worked for, I'm I'm on the receiving end. I worked for a pretty uh, well known hi fi sort of company. Um, And we. The Wiggles? No, no. No. No, No, I worked in the telco section. Yes. Yes. Um, So that's like phones and stuff. And I had this um, old bloke, really blokey guy come in irate like before he'd even come in he'd worked himself up he'd been <laughs> on the phone with the call centers back and forth demanding a new phone um so he's come in you know steam coming out of his ears pretty much yeah. uh straight off the bat saying my phone doesn't work i've had it for a week um you need to replace it right now and i've gone uh okay what sort of phone do you have and he's got one of these really old school hard to find um unbreakable phones so oh yeah it, you know Ten meters, and it was still the, the, the yeah. boomer yeah. special. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the back of the back in the day phones. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, first, I said, you know, we don't have them in stock, but let me look into this for you. And he was screaming at me. Oh, God. The security guards come over. I've gone, no, no, it's okay. We'll sort this out for you. I've gone to call up to make sure that it's been connected correctly. I've checked his um, his reception, and then I've opened up the phone, and he actually had the SIM card in upside down. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so when you reveal the fact that right. this was their mistake all along, with the amount of abuse that you, abuse you've gotten, what are their reactions? I, I'm interested yes. to know mm. once they realise it's them. He, uh, so he was kind of, he went through stages. So at first he was white as a ghost <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? I said, well, just look, see how you've got the SIM card with the silver part facing upwards? Yeah. That needs to connect yeah. to the prong so that it connects. And yeah. he goes... And then he started to kind of calm down, and then he broke down and cried. Oh! Yeah. That, that, that is the <laughs> best like, thing to do if you don't want to apologise. Yes. <laughs> no, he, he did. It, like, bless his heart. He was just so, like, oh. calling up the call centres, you know, 10 years ago was oh. atrocious. But you yeah. just get yeah. forwarded on, forwarded yeah. on. You go around in loop. Yeah. And this was a really old bloke. Oh, and yeah. he, you know, he burst into tears, and he was like, I'm so sorry, oh. love. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, well, oh. And then, um, oh. Did you get angry when he called you love? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was really 
young at the time. So I like I, I was proud of myself for keeping calm, but I was almost in the verge of tears. Yeah. Oh. Well, when, the, when a security guard has to come and stand next to you, it's not great. I know. But yeah. you know when he starts crying and hear you are going, oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I know. Take two iPhones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great story. Thanks, Kat. Oh, thanks, awesome. everybody. Story. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for calling. Scarborough Live voucher valued at $600. To spend at participating businesses such as Scarborough Sports and Community Club, they were great. Really enjoyed our... Uh, um, cats there too, Owen. Caleb's going to get it though. That roast and the fact that he gave it to him for free. Don't go giving out boneless birds to people that don't want them. <laughs> Some people want a bone in their bird. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We can't wait for this season of Adventure World. Be quick and grab your discounted early bird season pass now at adventureworld.net.au. All right, up the grabs. An mm. awesome prize, everybody. Yes. A family membership to Adventure World valued at 580 bucks. Can Brock from Willardson win it? Hello, Brock. Oh, man, I hope so. I'll be on the good books for a while. You wow. can do it, Brock. 6155, mate. I'm feeling it. Yeah, exactly, Sean, exactly. On, yeah, bro. you're basically gang members. We are, <laughs> mate. You are. We are. What, colour ba- what colour bandanas do, do we wear? Uh, Willardson and uh, the Blues, mate. So that's what would be Brock. I'm jumping in ahead of you saying anything. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, playing for Ross Moore in football club uh, going to Willowton. Oh, okay, trader, black trader. and white, okay. Hey, Brock, your phone Next. line's a bit fuzzy. Are you able to, are you on hands-free or something? Are you able to get off? Uh, yeah, I can right now. Okay, good, because um, we were you. worried that we, if we can't hear you, yeah. that... Um, yeah, yeah, all good. Oh, oh, a say. million oh. times better, Brock. Now his hands aren't full. <laughs> <laughs> mm, much better okay. when you connect the string. Brock, here's what's going to happen. We're going to give you a category. You then have five seconds to name five things that fit that category. If you do it, we give you the prize. Our judge, Amy, is the one who determines whether your answers fit the category or not, so you've got to please her. Are you ready, Brock? I am big both. All right, all right, all right. here we go. I think I'm going to just like, go for an easy one for Brock. Just go, yeah, <laughs> oh. okay. You, First you one off you. the cat. Just All right, Brock. We need five different names a brother would be called if his twin sister's names were Sunshine and Meadow. Go. <laughs> um, uh, Sunny, Meadow, Spring, Light, Light. <laughs> no, Sunny would have been acceptable. Sunny, we accept that one. No, but the sister's name's Sunshine, so calling no, their brother Sunny. Okay. Yeah. Sunny's okay. Oh, yeah, probably not Meadow hey, Springs. Meadow Springs. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> right. We'll call that a fail. Thanks, Brock. <laughs> uh, Chris is in Bayswater. Hello. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Really good. How are you? Okay, same deal. We're going to give you a category. You've got five seconds to name five things that fit that category. Chris, five things that cost a lot of money for a tiny amount. Go. A car, a boat, a house, and a, a helicopter. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So all, things that cost all, a lot of money there were for a, a tiny There were only four amounts. responses. Second of all, none of them fit the category. <laughs> none of them. None so of like them. a diamond. A diamond. Yeah. What about yeah. Tina? T- or it's, uh, saffron. Saffron. Saffron, okay. Mm. Saffron. Petrol. Mm. Gold. Yeah. Cocaine, is that... Yes, okay. yes, so we would have paid it. Helicopters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Helicopters, Helicopters in a house. Uh, Kate's in Caramar. Hi, Kate. Hi, how are you going? Hi, Kate. Good, Kate. Okay, Kate, <clears throat> your category. We need five animals that you're not allowed to have as a pet <laughs> that you would Fine. like to ha- Wait, that you would like to have as a pet. Go. Lion, tiger, crocodile. What was the f- third one? Lion, tiger, monkey, giraffe, crocodile. Mm. Lion, tiger, monkey, That's giraffe, fine. Yeah. crocodile. Yeah, that is fine. Right. In Australia, you cannot have a lion. Correct. That you would like to. Yes, I know. You mm. cannot have a tiger. Absolutely. I'd love to have a tiger. We cannot have monkeys. No. Here. In America, they can have monkeys, yeah, but that's you shouldn't true. have them because then they eat your face. Yes, that's they true. Do. They do. What were the other ones? A crocodile. crocodile. The question is, would you like to have a crocodile as a pet? Some well, people. yeah, if you got a pool. Mm. 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 Do you have a pool? Uh, yep. <laughs> Can we come over and just check? <laughs> We're going to need to see a photo of your pool. Sean, Sean, you have a pool. Does that sound like she's, she's <laughs> lying about her pool? I don't, I don't, but that was I don't. I don't. She can't you, in. you really crumbled Absolutely under crumbled. our uh, interrogation there, so Kate. Funny, Kate. <laughs> are we I'm paying it, Amy? Amy? Amy, what are, what are you thinking? We're paying it, Kate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Great. You have scored that family membership to Adventure World valued at $580. Before we do, Kate, do you have a bathtub? Be honest. <laughs> I have a bathtub. She wouldn't lie. I just need to know where the crocodile was going to live before we give it to her. Because we're going to drop one round. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you're not winning this. You're winning a crocodile. Oh, great work, Kate. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to play again tomorrow. Can I say that was a record? One, two, Two, three. three. Very well played. Wow, they're obviously too easy. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.